Hello makers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nicole of Woven Tales Designs. I am back for part two of this yarn stash spotlight slash yarn experiment mashup that I cannot nail a title top for. We are diving into the chunky weight and bigger version of this yarn experiment where I took my Jock the Frog pattern that I have released recently. The video tutorial is up on my YouTube channel if you've missed it. Um, and I wanted to see what kind of different yarns would look good with this. Um, honestly, every type of yarn looks good with this, so it is not something that you will have to like find specific yarns for. That's why I love Nigurumi. I think I've decided that that's like the biggest like draw in for me as a creator. I love the fact that you can literally use any yarn with it. You do not have to buy what is listed in the pattern. So without further ado, let's dive into the five plus a bonus. Different styles of Amigurumi I was able to come up with using chunky weight yarn for this pattern. Okay, coming in hot and heavy, I have in front of me four frogs that I made using one skein of this yarn. I used, you can see the backs of them. They're really cute. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Oh, okay, this is the yarn by Loops and Threads, found it at Michael's, Impressions. This is the colorway Olive, and let me tell you, I grabbed this yarn because it was a gradient style yarn and it didn't have consistent changes. So I was really curious to know what would this look like if I used one skein to make as many frogs as I could get out of it. I did get four frogs out of it. Um, I probably could get one more, but I didn't really want to play yarn chicken and I think I saw kind of like the general styles of the frogs that I was able to get. So let me turn them around and show you each of them. They're all made with the same crown. They're all made with uh, Pima Suprema. You heard about that in the last video, um, which is like a cotton based yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, yarn based Pima Suprema in the gold color, I guess. Um, and um, they each got the same eyes. Now, one of them has a slightly smaller set of eyes than the, the other three, but don't worry about it. But maybe I'll start with him. So, first one, this is the most dramatic looking one. Look at that contrast. Look at that. So, from the top to the bottom, you see like the head has this like white with very tiny little bits of olive inside, and the bottom is this really dark dark olive tone with like just a little bit of striation in there. Really cool, the back is literally the same. Um, I only used black eyes with these frogs because they had kind of more of like a, um, I don't know how to describe it. They gave me more of like a uh, sketch watercolor feel. So I didn't feel like they needed any kind of crazy expression. So I just gave them black eyes and that's it, no smile. Honestly, these frogs still have personality and stand out without a smile. So if you're someone that hates drawing or uh, I should say, hates sewing on smiles to Amigurumi, this is probably a pattern for you. So check that out. So that's version one of this Impressions. Other version coming after it, very different. I somehow got white feet from this. I did a little bit of mix and matching with the legs in, in this experimental thing, which you can totally do. I didn't want to just totally marry myself to like whatever comes next in the skein is what the limbs are for that frog. So I did kind of mix things around, but um, I kind of like that I did that. So this guy got white legs in the front, regular legs in the back. Um, the knees are a little bit lighter. Again, same black eyes. Um, oh, and I didn't tell you the hook that I used for this yarn was a five millimeter hook. I went down a whole hook size, which I think helps. I think for me with this particular Amigurumi, a full hook size down is better than doing half hook size down. I think some people go back and forth with that. I found just for this project, it was better to have tighter tension because it's easier for this guy to sit. These ones probably sit the best out of all of my frogs, honestly, because the yarn just was like working out perfectly. This is the third version, pretty much the same throughout. The only thing you're gonna get changing is the bottom is a little bit darker here. And that's it, dude. This one actually, I was kind of surprised. I think I hit a part of the skein that like literally just kind of like cruised and it was coasting with the color changing, so there's no changes at all. So this is probably like a standard version of this. And then the last one, just a little bit different too. We got a darker leg over here, a lighter leg over here, and I kind of just made this one kind of like a mix and match situation. So there we have it. Those are, I can't even hold them all at the same time, but I'll line them all up next to each other so you can see. 
here they are. This is the first style. I did just no smile, big buggy black eyes, the same crown, and I did one skein wonder for this. It was really fun. I love the gradients. Yarns, if you can find the ones that kind of change and it's kind of like a mystery what's gonna come next, there you go. This was version number one, which is with a color changing gradient style yarn. Also disclaimer, I have a son. He is just 13 months old and he is very vocal sometimes. So if you hear a little boy in the background, that's my son. Um, I'm a stay at home mom, I'm an entrepreneur. I will not edit my son out of everything because that's impossible to do. Literally wouldn't get anything done. So. There's that. I also have to note, this came in at just under six inches tall. Um, they advertise it as a category five weight yarn, but can I just say, this to me is more of like an Aran weight. I wouldn't put it in as category five, unless Aran does fall in that category, then I guess they're correct. This is more like a heavy worsted weight for yarn for me. So they're just gonna get a little bit of like, backlash from me on their yarn label. Yarn labels are always kind of iffy for me. Like for example, if you saw my last video, this is like, the double stranded version that I think gives me a perfect category five weight yarn. And like, this is so much bigger than this guy. So I don't know, take it, take it for what you will. Everybody chooses their yarns for different projects, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. All right, version number two of the chunky weight frogs. Here we go. We got a nice old upgrade here. I didn't even, I didn't even measure this one. Hold on, let's check it out together. We have here, I'm using Charisma by Loops and Threads from Michaels. Um, this is a true category five in my opinion. Probably could go between five and six. This guy comes in hot at about seven inches and some change. So I will say this is a nice, sized frog. I think this is a better size for like a smaller child. I think smaller kids need like squishier, bigger ones. Um, this guy is really easy to work up. I used a seven millimeter hook. The yarn label called for an eight. I used really um, big buggy eyes for this one. I used my glitter eyes. I'm trying to let you zoom in on the frog so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so see the little glitter flex in there? I used the glitter for this one. I double stranded the yarn for the crown. I used Yarn Be Soft and Sleek in like a mustard color. Um, and then I gave him a little blush on his cheeks because he deserves to be fabulous. So that was um, number two, version number two, very simple. I actually loved how this yarn worked. It was a little dry on my hands, a little hard on my hands. Um, I think especially because before making this one, I don't know, I think I made a bunch of worsted. So this was like the first chunky one I made after making a bunch of worsted weight frogs. So yay, so number two is this cute little Charisma yarn version of Jock the Frog. All right, version number three of the big weighted yarns here, we have a really cute yarn. Now, if I could pick the one color that I would use on repeat over and over for any of the frogs, it would be these lighter greens. Like for example, the really tiny guy I have, look at the size in comparison to that. Like my gosh, look at that. I like the lighter green tones for these frogs. As you can tell, I like the sage yarn. That was the one I used for the cover of my pattern. Um, but this guy he's made with, let's see, Lush Alpaca from Loops and Threads. Again, I went to Michael's for a bunch of yarns. Um, this is kind of an interesting yarn to use. I wouldn't use it again for Migurumi. Now, I will definitely find someone that will love this guy to death, but I'm just gonna let you know, the squishier yarn, similar to the olive one in the other video, they're gonna leave holes. Um, if I can find a spot to kind of just show you, I guess I'm like at the face here. They definitely leave more holes. I don't really love that for this frog. I think it's kind of, tacky looking. Um, I might actually have to go in and just do some sewing to close those up before I send this to a new home. Um, but I do love how soft this yarn was. I would probably get this yarn again to make maybe like some wearables, like a hat or like a really like plush scarf or something like that. I probably wouldn't use it for the frog, but it was fun to try it out and see how it worked up. Again, this color is why I reached for this yarn. Um, it has like, I don't know if you can see this like fuzzy hairy halo, and that I believe is from the alpaca. Um, so probably not a good fit for somebody just in case, um, like if you're gifting this just in case they have a wool allergy or an animal hair allergy, like this might not be good for them, but I did love it. I also um, did a little bit extra with the crown because of how tall the eyes ended up working out. Um, I ended up 
making the crown one more round taller by just doing an extra round at the beginning. So um, I did like three rounds of single crochet before I worked up the growth of the crown at the top. So that's how I kind of like adjusted to this guy. Um, and I did pick some all black eyes. I kind of like the simplicity of the all black eyes. The buggy all black eyes, I kind of love. Like look at that, like it's super cute, right? Um, and then because of like somehow of where the smile was placed, I actually think he looks a little bit chubbier. I don't know why, but I kind of love it. So I like this version, it's probably one of my favorite versions. I just hate that like the holes are there. So I think I used an eight millimeter hook for this guy. Eight millimeter hook. Oh, I didn't even measure him. Let's see, how much does he measure? out to be this guy is gonna be tall this guy is gonna give us oh about eight and a half oh just eight and a quarter inches of froggy royal realness eight and a quarter inches so pretty tall and again compared to our smallest guy look at that three and a half inches at the smallest end and we're going we're getting bigger from here so hang on to your froggy pants here we go right, this next one is a twofer because I, I do like to talk about how I use different yarns but I also like to talk about how I did to like different techniques as you can see this next one is using Bernat's baby blanket sparkle yarn it has recently returned to the yarn stores and I'm really grateful for that because I know a lot of people really liked using it I liked using it because of the sparkle it's very much more on brand for me because I like the enchantment feel of it so this is what I got um, I I worked this guy up with seven millimeter hook for this version and I'll show you the other version in a second but number four is using burnout baby blanket sparkle yarn in limeade sparkle Look at how big he is! Uh, oh my god, let me straighten this little crown out, sorry. Sometimes when I throw these things around, the crowns kind of get out of control. So I gotta like put them back in their place. But um, anyway, this guy worked out so well. I even added some rhinestones to the spoke of the crown, which I really am glad for. Um, I think it gives it another element of fun. Now this green is not exactly my favorite shade of green, as I've already showed you what my favorite shades of green are. It's just a little more yellow for me, and I like how they call the color limeade, because it's definitely got some yellow, more yellow tones in it. I do love that the tone of the sparkle is like a uh, more of like an Easter green, which is great. I think the toes look so so delicious and cute and scrumptious and look at those toes. I just want to eat those right off. They're like little gummy, little gummies. Um, I did love this version. Probably it's one of my favorites just because of the sheer appearance of it. It's so bright and bold. It's definitely whimsical looking. I did double strand the black yarn uh, using worsted weight yarn for the smile. Gave it some blush on the cheeks. I've noticed that using more of an orange tone eyeshadow or blush for all of these frogs because I'm using it on top of green makes it look more pink. I think if I were to use pink, it would come out looking purple. So I just want to add that in there as a little tip. Again, I worked this up with a seven millimeter hook. It was a little hard on my hands. I do find the center of the strand of that blanket yarn and a lot of blanket yarns has like a really like really tough center. I guess that's what keeps all the fibers together. But it like, I'm someone that wraps the yarn around her um, pointer finger when I crochet and it really does kind of wear on my finger. So it took me a minute to work up one of these because it just hurt my hands a little bit. Um, but that's just me because that's my style. Uh, other people that crochet uh, probably will never have that problem. That's just a me problem. Um, but look at him, isn't he so cute? What, did we measure him? No, we did not. Let's see here. Okay, grabbing the right end of the measuring tape. Here we go. This is coming at 10 and a half inches, man. Wow, wowie wowie. Now I wanna show you his cousin that I worked up, okay? Because like I said, this is a twofer, okay? This is a twofer, okay? So I'm gonna put this guy over here. All right, so here's the other version of this. Now I realize what a dramatic difference, right? And I'm gonna tell you how I got there in a second, but um, just for stylistic aesthetic reasons, I, because he worked up a little bit skinnier and taller, he kind of gave me more of this little guy's vibes. So I didn't wanna add a smile, I didn't wanna add blush. I just kind of kept him as is once I added the eyes and the crown and I thought he was just magical enough for me. Now, how did I get from there to here? Because truly like there is a huge difference in, in girth or like width, I guess, um, and, but they, and it's also the, the height is different. So this one was 10 and a half inches. This one is coming in at 
like nine and three quarters, almost 10. So this is pretty like significant of a difference, but we're using the same yarn, right? What I did was I went down half a hook size. So this one is made with a seven millimeter hook. It calls in the yarn label, I think for an eight. This one, I used a six and a half millimeter hook. Now, I don't know why I did that because like I said, this one already hurt my fingers. This guy hurt my fingers even more. And the only six and a half millimeter hook I had on me was a plastic one. So like the yarn did not slide in and out of it very easily. So it was very difficult to work up, but I'm glad I did it for the experiment for the science of the yarn, right? I really liked how tight things were. Um, I will say, this guy seems like it would be taller, but somehow it's not. I do like how it worked up. I think it was very different. So maybe that's something to note for yourself if you're working it up and you notice that like, okay, like this guy is like really short and fat and squat. What if I worked it up with just another half size down? How would that affect the yarn? And this is the result that I got. I also changed the crown because I didn't exactly like how big this crown was. I liked it for this guy, it was fine. But once I saw how small this guy was, I didn't want to do the same style. So this crown, I triple stand stranded worsted weight yarn, uh, two strands of the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek, one strand of the Pima Suprema, and I worked up the crown like that. This one, I just double stranded the yarn, yarn Bee Soft and Sleek, and that's it. So this one has a lot more of a normal size looking crown. This one is definitely a lot bigger, but I also knew that this guy was gonna be tall, so I wanted to kind of match that. So there you have it. This is version number four with the Burnout Sparkle Yarn. Alrighty, version number five. Let me just say that at this point in the game, this was probably like my 20th frog that I've made and I really had a good time making his expression know that This is probably my favorite face out of all of the frogs and you're gonna see why in a second I posted him in a story on Instagram So if you have seen this guy already, I'm sorry for the repeat, um, but here we go wah, wah. <laughs> though this is my emo guy he kind of looks like a cross between um either he gives me like quasimodo face vibes like early in the movie of hunterback of notre dame not like the end when he's like you know like a good guy and happy guy or he kind of reminds me a little bit of if you've watched the office he kind of gives me like kevin vibes after they make fun of him with with like the cookie monster jokes <laughs> Him. I can't help it. He just does because he's so big and squishy now You're wondering oh my god what yarn is this or some of you might already know those that are like cereal amigurumi makers This is the sweet snuggles yarn from Michaels I used a 10 millimeter hook for this guy. It called for an 11 and a half millimeter hook I've never even heard or seen one of those in my life before I have a 12 millimeter hook But I definitely was not gonna go up in it a hook size I needed to go down so I went down to a 10 millimeter hook for this it was very gratifying the whole time I made him I do have enough left that I can maybe squeeze out another frog um, I will say using this yarn was took some getting used to because anytime you cut it or like rip the yarn to like kind of like break it off like there is like another like inch of like f like feathery wispy pieces of it that come off and get all over the place. It looks like 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 it exploded everywhere. So using the yarn was a little annoying for me. I also triple stranded this. I used for the crown two strands of the yarn be soft and sleek, that yellow color, and then I used the sweet or er, I used Burnett Softy Baby in like a light yellow color. I don't, I don't remember the colorway. I think it's like lemon or something like that. But anyway, that was the crown. I did not add any jewels to him. I thought that he needed something a little more low key. I did like the contrast in the crown that is a little bit different from the other ones. It's probably the only crown that looks like that in that way. Um, and look at the toes. Look at the toes. Do we not love the toes? Oh my gosh. I mean, the toes are what kills me here. And when it just sits, I mean, God, it's just so, it's so impactful. Um, this is the one that I have to fight from my son all the time. I don't know if I'll sell this guy. I might just give it to him. But um, I did also do where you take like a scrap piece of yarn, just add a couple stitches like right above where the eye is um, at the top of the eye. And it kind of gives you like a hooded kind of like droopy eye look. 
I love him though. He's so awesome. He's one of my favorites. Honestly, a guy's face like this, I could probably rename the pattern as like, I don't know, Filbert or something like that. Something like that. Oh, my son is coming to say hi. Do you see your favorite? Do you want him? Do you want him? You gonna take care of him? Okay, so I'm gonna give my son this guy. So that was version number five, but not the last version of my Jock the Frog in a chunky weight yarn. And that's a jumbo, that's a jumbo weight yarn, super bulky weight yarn. I love that yarn. Okay, cool. Last but not least, this one's a little bit unorthodox. Okay, so at this point of me in the yarn experiment, um, I was making a lot of frog princes, but I was like, what about the princess? <laughs> so I started playing around with like a different crown idea. Um, it kind of worked out, but didn't. But I thought I would just show you how the yarn that I used, because it's different from the other yarns, how it worked up with this frog pattern. Because everything is the same, um, except for the crown. So just ignore the crown. The, the crown is a work in progress. I am coming out with a girl version of the pattern, a princess, frog princess. Um, but just this is, this is definitely not the crown. So just please don't look at it and don't give attention to it. Here we go. I use Chenille Home Slim yarn from Michaels. It's the it's the Loops and Threads brand again. I guess that's their store brand, I don't know. Um, but this is the Chenille Home Slim. Slim, yeah, it's it's not the like the full one. I love this one so much. I don't know, I think I used a seven, seven millimeter hook for this one too. I did use big buggy eyes. At one point I did have lashes at the top of it. Um, and it was looking very girly, but unfortunately for me, um, the lashes did not stay on. But I didn't glue them on, I just kind of stuck them on with the adhesive that already comes on the back of uh, false eyelashes. So I think I might, um, down the road when I make girl ones, I might get real lashes, not real lashes, fake lashes. I might get actual lashes to add on, but I'm gonna have to glue, figure out how to glue them on. I know there's a certain way of doing it. But I really like how this one worked out because it was a different color. I think I had seen so much green, I was like, oh my God, I need something different for my eyes, right? So I got this and I worked it up and I actually think it works really good. You could probably put, I mean, imagine like, imagine like this crown on top of this one, right? Like so much better. I mean, if we even cover that, this guy makes a really cute frog in general. So I just wanna say for those of you that are like, can I make this without the freaking crown? Yes, you can. This definitely is easy to do without making the crown, but I really do. Again, love how the toes worked up. The chunkier the yarn, I think the toes look the best because they don't look as like stranded. I think that looks really nice. Also the blush really popped well on this because of course it's like a purpley color. This is the colorway rose, by the way. I didn't say that, rose. And we didn't even measure this. This is giving me like eight and a half inches. I think another, adding a crown to it would probably add another inch and a half. So probably like nine and a half inches. I would probably reach 10 inches easily. Um, next to the Bernat Bar Blanket Sparkle, like it's pretty much the same size. Um, so it's probably gonna work up exactly the same. I love how this yarn feels. I love how it works up. I liked not using green for once. Um, it, I think it worked out pretty well. So I think this frog, could, frog prints could honestly look good in any yarn color as well. It's just, what does your imagination tell you to use next? You know, that's, that's on you. That's on you as a maker. All right, with that being said, I got a lot of frogs here. I gotta organize these. I gotta figure out who needs to go to a home, who I'm gonna keep, because I might keep a couple of them. If you liked this video today, please give me a thumbs up and let me know that this is the kind of content you look forward to. I always like to inspire and give you things to look forward to, things you can do with your own patterns and your own projects at home. Um, again, you can find this pattern in my Ravelry and Etsy shops. It's on my YouTube channel here, Woven Tales Designs, as a free tutorial as well, full length. I do not hide anything from you on my channel. I am always up for a new Yarny friend, so find me on Instagram, find me on my socials. I leave those linked down below in the description as well. And on that note, have a creative day adding magic to your stitches in your own way, and I will see you in the next video. Ta ta! Is that the color? Ooh. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay, where's my nose? Wait, what? Eight and a half plus one and a half. 10 inches. So I have to keep looking at the name because I keep forgetting. <laughs> triple, triple. <laughs> loops and threads. Is it loops and threads? Is this the version number four? Holy crap. Three. Ooh, let me straighten your crown out, sir. Uh, you now they don't look like that. Are you kidding me right now? Hold on. Hello. What yarn hook did I use for this? Poor portion. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't even remember what type of yarn this was. Is it? I don't even know what the brand on her, on him. I don't know. Which one is it? Her or him? Sewings. Sewings? Where's my measuring tape? Here we go. Uh, propor proportion. Uh, uh, heavy waisted. So this person, this person, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, oh, this guy is cool. 